mobility flow. That way we can focus on a variety of movements, emphasizing our strength, our core stability, flexibility, and focusing on mind to muscle connection. So feel free to grab a mat, use your floor, use the carpet, whatever you have handy. Go ahead, start onto the side of your mat, making sure your feet are grounded into the floor, your big toe, little toe, and heel, all making that ground contact. Pull those shoulders back, open up that chest. Let's go ahead and begin to raise one leg, bringing that knee in line with our hip. Kind of challenge that balance and stability. You may feel your ankle start to wobble just a tad. Open up that hip into a lateral lunge. Shift your weight from one side to the other. Notice how both feet are still planted into the ground. Once you feel good here, go ahead, pivot onto the ball of your feet. Lunge forward, driving that knee forward. Once again, focusing on spreading those toes, making that contact. Pull your shoulders over your toes. Allow your hands to meet the mat. Now this may feel comfortable for you. If not, feel free to bring that bottom knee down. Otherwise, keep that knee up. Focus on that nice stretch of the groin. When you're ready, pull both feet back. Rest into that high plank. Making sure your wrists, elbow, and shoulders are all stacked on top. Bring that belly button into your spine. And let's hold here for a couple quick seconds. Focusing on our breathing. When we're ready, shift your weight back to the balls of your feet, tucking your chin to your chest, feeling that nice deep stretch of your back. Hold here for a couple of seconds, then let's roll our spine up, coming back into our high plank position. Now that we're here, go ahead, slowly walk your way to allow your hands to come to your knees, then to your feet, and rest in your squat position. Your squat may not be this low and that is totally fine. Just find your comfort level. Push those knees out, open up that chest, and let's rise back up into standing. Now, you can go ahead and perform this on the opposite side, starting with those same cues. Finding your balance, grounding yourself into the floor, opening up that chest, tucking that pelvis underneath, protecting that lower back area. You raise that knee, in line with your hip. And you're gonna go ahead, once you feel nice and sturdy, take that nice step, shift into that lateral lunge, turning into that dynamic stretch. Hands meet the floor. We rest into our high plank, making our ground contact, keeping our gaze to the floor, shifting our weight back, rolling ourselves vertebrae by vertebrae back into this high plank. And then when we're ready, we slowly walk our way into our starting squat, lifting our gaze, and that's gonna help guide us back into our starting position, and then we're done. It's that easy. Always feel free to include mobility into your weekly routines. It helps with your strength, your mind to muscle connection, and it just makes you feel good. So I hope you enjoyed, and let us know if you have any questions, and we'll coach you through it.